rejected the interpretation of the Bible, which seems a little odd, because I know it's been translated a lot, and you want evolution over here. And then the words we say is more your interpretation than the Bible in itself. No, it's, script, it's just scripture interpreting scripture. So that, it's your interpretation of it, right? No. Don't, all interpretations belong to God, say it, say it's uh, Gen Genesis chapter 40, verse 8. So, we, we get, when we see something that's off, we call it off, so, call it out so they don't go go off to hell. No, based, on, based, on, based, on, based on your interpretations of hell, and other people have their own churches and their own interpretations. No, 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 The hell, hell can be spoken about in the Bible. Jesus said, Said, where the yeah, like where the worm dies dark. not right. and so the fire is not serious. quenched. Dude, I mean, anybody anybody who is anybody will know hell. Will, will know hell. If anybody who's anybody would, who would know hell, that'd be Jesus Christ. Want to know why? Because Jesus made hell. But you're, you're, you're not Jesus. You're interpreting the word of Jesus. We're just a servant. Well, not churches that you disagree with. You don't accept homosexuality, right? Do you think the context of the Bible is wrong? Correct. The universe can't do the same thing. They, they have wrong judgment because they disobey the word of God. How does that evolution take place? What exactly is the boundary? I think they disagree. They also believe in the Bible, right? They just have a different interpretation of it. It's either all or nothing. Jesus makes that clear. So you have an appropriate perfect interpretation of the Bible. The whole It says uh, all scripture, not just a little bit of what you think is good, yeah, you were asking about homosexuality. Well, just more, just more general. You, you have an interpretation of the Bible, right? You, you just listen to what it says. If you, have, if you come to God, come to God with an innocent and uh, humble heart, and think a spade is a spade. If you, if you want truth. God will give you that truth. But if you want the lie, you're going to have the lie. But there are people who, you agree, who study the Bible, who interpret it different than you, right? They interpret they interpret it with the heart of what they want. Okay. We interpret it of what God says. They, like say, you know, most of the churches out there, they interpret it and pick, ver pick cherry pick verses so they can make money. In some centers, uh, cherry pick verses so they can live their sinful lifestyle. The year is 2022 and the city is New Orleans located in the state of Louisiana. The exact location is Tulane University, which is a private university. Now, although I am not against education in itself, it's what you are being taught and what these universities are promoting which is not right in the eyes of God. In these universities, you have the next generation, the future adults, the future parents, the future uh, people who will fill these roles of authority. And the way they are taught to learn, the way, the things they are taught will influence them and they will carry that with them throughout their life. And it will also affect society and communities at large. Some sins that are prevalent in the university environment, of course, and teachings as well, atheism. Everything starts with atheism. Once you believe that there's no God, then anything goes. You can do whatever you please. Then you have evolution, which teaches that this world has been around for billions of years and that we have evolved and that our ancestors are animals or even bacteria. You have relativism, which says that whatever is true for you is true for you and whatever is true to, to me is true to me and it's all about your emotions and whatever feels right or whatever seems right in your own eyes so there's no absolute truth you have groups like antifa which teach socialism they want to rebel against authority and they want to establish their own 
a government in which anarchy rules, in which anything goes, in which there's no real sense of justice or law and order, but everyone is for themselves. Again, this is an outcome of atheism. This is what happens when atheism is promoted and taught. You have gender identity where people think they can choose their gender. You have critical race theory in which people start to blame certain races and start to think that certain races are better than others or are more privileged or should be looked in a more favorable way than others instead of people taking responsibility over their own sin. You have drugs and alcohol which run rapid on these universities because you have fraternity parties and just kids that are up to no good who just want to have a good time who are just there in school not because they want to learn but because they just want to party it up they just want to forget about the world or they want to get their parents off their back and they want to experiment so they just live it up party it up and as a result we have the rape culture which is most prevalent here in these universities when they get these uh, students drunk or on drugs then as a result you have a uh, rape which then causes depression and suicide and so many other things so see these are the prevalent sins that are most common at these universities and again when people are influenced by this type of culture and these type of teachings then it goes with them throughout their adulthood and thus we have the generation that we live in today hey by the way god's judgment is coming god's judgment is coming all of you hey let me explain to you as to what god's judgment is hey Romans, there's a book called First Corinthians okay. in 
the Bible. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 I don't want you to burn in hell. Oh, I'll burn in hell. Get no, 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 no. That fire is too dangerous. You know, Bible says that hell is, you know, this weeping. You know what? You'll be crying all the time. And this wailing with a lot of pain. All right, we're going to sing you a song before we leave here. We got a couple of songs we're going to sing for you guys. All right. All right. It's not okay to be gay. It's not okay to be a homo. You were born that way. Yes, you need to be converted. That's it. It's not okay to be gay. It's not okay to be a homo. God says it's a real big no no. That's it. It's not okay to be gay. It's not okay to be normal. It's not in your DNA. That's it. God says it's a real big no no. You know what? I'm a Paul. I'm a Paul. By what I see today. I've been preaching college campuses for almost 20 years. No I don't remember ever seeing so many girls dressed in a manner that is so provocative. What is going on with this generation?
Thank you. 